I think we would all be excited <laughs> if our students exhibited these real life characteristics. <laughs> if they did this, wouldn't we have an understanding that they're growing spiritually? As a minister, if the youth of my church were doing these things, I would feel really good about our future. Yet there's one thing that these characteristics all have in common. These were the same characteristics that the Pharisees practiced religiously. <laughs> Remember the people that Jesus referred to as whitewashed tombs? <laughs> when we look carefully at the Gospels, the characteristics of the twelve disciples does not match this list. Here's just a few descriptors of the twelve disciples. They were judgmental. They were envious. They were after positions of power. How would you feel if your students all fell asleep while you were praying? <laughs> and yet Jesus dealt with that. How would you feel when faced with a conflict if your student reached for a sword to cut off someone's ear? How would you feel if your teenagers decided to exclude a certain ethnicity? And yet, these are the very people that Jesus used to change the world. Are these characteristics important? Absolutely. But when I read the Gospels, it reminds me that discipleship doesn't always fit into nice, neat categories. That's important for us to remember when it comes to teenagers and their faith. The way that they grow in their faith will not look like yours did. <coughs> 
Do I want students to be students of the word? Yes. Do I want them to be to have an appetite for prayer and worship? Absolutely. But I also have to recognize that the way they practice that may not look the same way that I practice it as an adult. Understanding the way that we grow in holiness is important. But it's equally important to recognize that not everyone grows at the same way or the same pace. The youth in your church come from a wide variety of backgrounds. Some have recently come from Taiwan or other countries. Some were born here when their parents immigrated. And some came here and they had kids, and now those kids have known nothing but American culture. Some of the teenagers in your church speak Taiwanese, others do not. So the question becomes, with that much diversity, how do we help them follow Christ? How do we help them live into these ten characteristics? How do we help them live them out not because they have to, which is what the Pharisees did, but because they want to. And we're going to spend the rest of today trying to answer that particular question. So there are two keys that helps us understand what teenager or youth discipleship should look like. The first is that real life discipleship <coughs> is what happens between meetings. A, 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 a,
，诶，唔是聚会，迄个时间就是伊有几下诶聚会，迄个中中间。The greatest indicator of how Christian a person is is their actions away from the church. What are your teenagers like at school, at home, on dates, in the locker room? It's far too easy to act Christian at church and then to be other elsewhere. Sometimes it's the students who do these ten things who are the people that away from the church are not very Christ-like. And yet sometimes students who are afraid to pray out loud may actually have the most active faith life. Often students are struggling to determine who God is and what God wants to do in their lives. Therefore, teenagers' faith often mirrors three steps forward, two steps back. So, so remember that we're looking for evidence of discipleship beyond just what occurs in the church. The second key then is that real life discipleship is marked more by footprints than monuments. By monument, I'm referring to those big experiences such as camps, retreats, mission trips. These are often places where teenagers encounter God in very powerful ways. Uh, 
These big experiences are very important in the lives of a teenager's faith. But as good as they are, they're not enough. This is more than just one-time commitments or decisions. This is a lifelong journey we're asking them to join. <coughs> when we focus only on monuments, teenagers say, this is where I met God. And while conversion happens in that moment, discipleship is a journey. For discipleship, the more appropriate symbol is the footprint. If we only focus on big experiences with our youth, we run the risk of encouraging them to see worship as an experience that is only the ending rather than the beginning. When we focus on the big event, students don't know how to live in between big events. Therefore, big events should be seen as replenishing oneself in order to walk in between till the next big event. So, in scripture, the Greek word for disciple means learner, not expert. As we saw earlier, the disciples were not doing very well, but they were learning. The disciples were all moving in the right direction as they tried to follow Jesus. Uh, 
Therefore, it's incredibly important not that teenagers have arrived, but that they are moving in the right direction. So what I'd like to suggest are two practices that can be very helpful as teenagers journey on the road to Christ. First, we need to provide exercises and activities that allow students to talk about their faith. As an example, a teenager who is struggling with their parents' divorce has a lot of questions about why God would allow this to happen. Also, a teenager who is being bullied at school wonders where God is at in the midst of that. A teenager who is trying to discern their future wonders what role God plays in that. If all of our lessons and Bible studies are simply us as adults telling them what to do, it doesn't work. We have to give them opportunities to talk about their issues so that we can help them find what Christ and Scripture says about it. If you haven't noticed, teenagers love to talk. But they also have lots of questions that they need answers for. So the second practice is we must use strategies that will help teenagers question, probe, and reflect on their own walk with Christ. One of the most important things a teenager does is to figure out who they are in Christ. As they grow up, they're beginning to fall away from what mom and dad believed and trying to figure out what is it that I believe. 
那因那里里里多含料，啊，就渐渐安尼被一路就放弃，因的爸母讲你就安尼信，安尼信，啊，因家己就爱开始，因就已经开始咧讲，我安怎信，不是阮爸阮母安尼信。Teenagers who never question their faith, who never own it for themselves, often end up falling away from the faith of their parents. Ah, this is a ah, teenagers.啊，青少年若无问清楚这款的问题，我啊是到底我信安怎信？啊，因常常啊会对安尼代志开，因对原来对爸母所想。Whether we like it or not, teenagers need to ask the questions that will help them decide whether this is worth accepting. And as they ask those questions, they need adults by them who can help them wrestle with the answers. So I would like to do the following with you for the next 10 minutes. I would like to break you into groups of three to five and ask you to talk about two things. I want you to answer these two questions in your group. <coughs> what are the things that you can do to help teenagers who are searching for faith? And secondly, how can you walk with a teenager who's questioning their faith? I'm a big believer that all of us have something to contribute to this conversation. And therefore, I want us to learn from each other today. So take the next 10 minutes to answer those two questions in your group, and then we'll come back and report our findings. So our group, um, we. Um, for our group, we believe that um, space is very important, and also to um, to listen, because I think not we don't a lot of times we don't really listen. So like when the children, like when you talk to us, we kind of feel like since we're the adults, we know more. And even at times when um when we don't know the answer, I think it's good to admit to that. Because sometimes, even if we don't know the answer, we just give them a kind of a, not a true answer, we just say, okay, this. But honestly, we don't know the answer. So I think it's good to be like, hey, I don't know the answer, you don't know the answer, let's find this answer together. You know, let's, let's pray about it, let's have a way where we can figure it out together, and kind of going on that journey as well. So I think, is it? Hi, Oma. Okay, that's about it. Thank you. You understand. <laughs> there were at least three things that he said that I thought were vitally important. 
And we're actually, in the second seminar today, going to cover all three of those. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, so we can get to it. It's not back to you. So it probably would have been easier if you'd asked him to speak instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would another group like to share some of the things that you think are important? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just say one I think. I think for the thing, uh, teenagers is that, uh, yes, he's right, I was a youth counselor, but I discovered like a few things. Number one is to respect. You don't say that I believe in this and you have to believe in this too. And number two, I think asking questions is very good. What do you think? You no, know, and let them answer you. Yeah. So, uh, also, listening is very important. You already say that. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you. I think Beibu has started. Beibu has a chance to get a chance. He has a chance to get a chance. He has a chance to get a chance. He has a chance to get a chance to get a chance. He has a chance to get a chance. 讲出伊心内心声啊，是啥物用疑问吼，用用安尼来甲甲因对话啦。啊，呃，我想小我咧分享，我即摆我咧做，呃，伫咧全国咧做青少年时间吼，啊，其实是，呃，拢甲第一代讲吼，咱徛到后壁，咱以前拢做过，拢失败啊啦，啊，咱来讲吼，互因，互因第二代吼，互因家己做主。啊，落去计划代志，啊，落去叮当，啊，咱徛较后边，唔是讲歪彩，咱徛较后边吼，啊，该观察，看咱会当提供啥物服务，该资源吼，无论是讲场所啦，还是讲有需要啥物啥物资源，咱该到提供，啊，互因做主，啊，因会足欢喜家己开始了，啊，每一个教会因为人数少，袂趣味吼。啊，毋过做伙的时阵吼，那一个花落啊，大家去遐足热心的吼，啊，毋是讲要甲因对教会拢热热出来变一团吼，是讲来遐大家互相啊，转去以后要去建立每一个教会家己的青少年的的团体安尼。像咱有啊，头一点钟的的中间讲起啊，即个啊，啊，青少年啊，因有什么款的？诶，特特色啊，有什么关系？特别的问题。And then we also discussed the importance of adults in a teenager's life. 啊，你讲这这个问题，讲这个，在做大人呢。So on the PowerPoint slide, there was a major study that was conducted about ten years ago. 讲伫差不多十年前有人有做一个特别的研究，啊，拄只落尾句安尼无少，就是讲咱做大人爱做的是啥物啊 ？This study started studying teenagers when they were 12 years old and studied them until they were 27. 啊，当研究的，就是对因十二岁开始，一直到因 twenty 啊 twenty seven， 啊，到二十七岁中间。啊，诶诶，即个个人来研究啊。The primary question they wanted to know is, what did it take to help a teenager develop an adult faith? 啊，即个研究就是讲啊，到底即个 teenager 啊，即青少年到底因啊，成年啊，诶，迄个信仰安怎样？来养成，来培养，培养。Tied to that, they wanted to know what did local churches do to help teenagers stay connected to God and connected to the church. 啊，当这个研究，目的就是要安怎样帮助教会，或者少年人，来会当继续甲教会啊保持关系，也互因的信仰啊平平成长。In other words, what did it take for a teenager to develop a lifelong faith in God?
The study has developed 15 things that are important. For our time together, we're only going to discuss the top six, as I believe they are the most important. What you see on the screen are the top six, but not in order. Therefore, I want you to rank them in the order of importance, with your top one being the one you would say is most important to helping a teenager develop faith. So take just a moment to rank these six in order from most important to least important. Apprentice, <coughs> Uh, <coughs> Ayakyao Okay, so hopefully you've had a chance to rank order these <coughs> importants. <coughs> Now let me share with you with the order that the study actually found. According to the study, the most important factor in helping teens develop a lifelong faith in God was where faith was integrated and family identity and practice. Students said that their parents lived out their faith both at church, at home, at work, in the marketplace, and everywhere else. Uh, 
啊，伫因的职务、职务伫社会甲人来往的中间所表现出来，即款的信仰的行为啊，对因有相当的影响。When I was a teenager, my parents did this really well. 啊，我做一个少年的时阵，啊，我诶爸母这样做了真好。One of the things they taught me was that to be part of our family meant that there were certain obligations that we had. I you got to say, "I want to be part of this family, 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 this family." There were certain ways we were called to act in the world. Ah, then in this world, to act, act, to act, to act, to act. And as a teenager, I have to admit, I did not always like those. I do it as a children now. Oh, I when people so come and say, I want to know, she say she, go in one direction, don't you? Why you are not so? But I remember my mom always telling me, remember, you're a Christian. Why he? Why my mom? Not she. Not she. Oh, you are a Christian. When I looked at my parents' example, they lived constant lives in every area. Ah, when I look at my parents' example, they lived constant lives in every area. Ah, when I look at my parents' example, they lived constant lives in every area. The researchers said. That for the students who maintained Christian faith into their twenties, it had to do primarily with their parents living out the Christian faith before them. So, in the research, the person said, "Say, this teenage person can maintain their faith to the age of twenty, to the age of twenty-five, and the main thing is that their parents live their faith to the age of twenty-five and the main thing is that their parents." So the most important thing you can do for your church is to help parents live faithful lives. Ah, so we, in our, in our church, so we can do it is to help our children, our elders, to live in their faith in their lives to make a strong, strong statement. But the question always remains. What about teenagers whose parents don't attend church? Ah, that good boy solved the problem. That is, if you say, "Ah, that is a young person, his parents don't go to church, ah, is not a Christian, is what is the answer?" In that case, the second item is of most importance. That is, the second item is of most importance. Ah, 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 the second item is of most Teenagers whose parents did not attend, that having three or more adults who would mentor them was very important. Ah, 对于这些父母啊，呢，是信徒还是不去教会啦？这个第二项的要紧，诶，第二诶项目，诶，上要紧的就是讲，你就爱有两三个啊，这款的那种读书啊，该指导啊，该带带头带路。带This is what we mean by mentors: those who choose to take an active interest in the life of a teenager and are there to speak with them, to be with them, and to answer questions. Ah, then so we mentors, those who ah, 就是讲有这款人欢喜来啊，找这些啊青少年，甲因讲话，听因讲话啊。啊，来，也来回答因素咧，追求的疑问。In the Christian faith, this particularly means that we ask how they're doing spiritually. 在基督教、基督教的传统的内面，咱所讲的就是啊，这两、这个、这读书，就是关心我到底。We want to know how God is living and active in their life. 
啊，但所以啊，佮换一句话来讲，就是上帝怎样活我，伫因个生活啊，生命中间的标，的点点一时阵。So as a mentor, I go to things like their ball games or their band concerts. 啊，做一个啊，导师啊，譬如讲我做导师，我会去。参加去看因啊，迄迄个咧运动节目嘅内面，伊咧拍球，啊是啊，即个因啊准时啊参加学校乐队咧表演嘅时，我拢去看。I go I go to these events as a support and encouragement for what they're engaging in. 啊，我去参加即个啊活动，就是表示我对。这个少年人啊，会支持啊，甲关心。But I also go in order to let them know that I care. 啊，我去也爱互因知影讲，我实实在在咧听因啊，关心因。I care about them as a person, and I care about their spiritual well-being. 啊，我那是干啊，啊，关心因做一个啊人。因啊，安尼，我关心因的属灵的生命。In the Eastern Orthodox tradition of the Church, there is a word that, when referring to Mary, the mother of Jesus, is called theotokos. 啊，当地东方的教会传统就是东方这种教会的传统的里面，啊，因讲到底。耶稣的老母玛利亚是有一句话 ，Theotokos， 啊，这这句话来去讲起耶稣的老母。The word literally means Christ bearer。安尼，这字的这个实在迄个字面上的意思，就是咧讲，这就是生基督的。啊 ，In the same way that Mary physically bore Jesus into the world。You and I are called to bear him to the lives of the teenagers we encounter. Ah, 这就啊，玛利亚对着天上又生啊，耶稣就是生基督啊，做这个读书的人啊，就爱安尼在帮助这些青少年，亲像咧生这些青少年啊，做基督徒一般。Therefore, as a mentor, I see my role primarily as pastoral, in terms of helping to understand and meet the needs of teenagers, especially spiritually. Ah, 那是我做一个啊，导师，我我想我的角色应该就是啊，底下飞来啊，表达出一一一。表达出一种迄落亲像牧者、牧师诶款来关怀诶，即个少年人啊，因诶生生命啊，甲因诶灵性。The third thing the researchers found was that teenagers who were involved in ongoing service to the world developed faith that lasted longer. 啊，当。过来第三项，就是讲啊，即个少年人安尼继续啊参与伫对社会，啊是讲即世间会服务的事啦。These teenagers were taught that they had a responsibility to serve the world。啊，即个青少年啊，就教师讲啊，来啊，就爱怎样来服务。In other words, to be Christian meant that one was called to give away one's life. Ah, ah, 意思就是讲，做一个基督徒就是爱将本身献给别人，啊啊，做啊为着别人来来做一件事。So these teenagers were given opportunities to engage in service projects. Mission trips and regular opportunities to meet the needs of their community and their world. So, ah, 要紧就是讲
，即个提供啊机会，或即个青少年有机会通去啊服务即个社会所在所在啊，所需要欠缺，啊是去做短期的宣导，服服服务的即款的时间。The fourth thing that they determined to help a teenager develop lifelong faith were opportunities for apprenticeship. By apprenticeship, we mean they were giving opportunities to be a leader within the church itself. 就是啊，伊个意思啊，即 apprenticeship 伊个所爱讲意思就是，好，即个少年人然后机会通做头来带人。For some teenagers, this meant being asked to help co-teach a children's Sunday school class with an adult. 啊，譬如讲，中间的一项就是讲，即个青少年会当甲大人做伙，三甲做啊。这个主持老的老师啊，来教一班，安尼做一教一班。Some were involved in the audiovisual ministries of the church, such as helping to run sound or video. 啊，有诶就是啊，少年人啊，可能啊，互教会家，也叫伊讲，就爱倒卡手来帮助这个教会诶，这个啊，视听诶，即个器材啊，是。The majority of teenagers said that their churches had committees that actively included teenagers on those committees. Ah, many churches, they say, because their churches have that committee, ah, committee, ah, 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 In other words, for most of those teenagers, they were giving opportunities to learn what it meant to be part of the body of Christ. Ah, 就是安尼讲，就是我即个青少年有机会通学习，要怎样成做即个啊基督的体的一部分。There's an old saying that maybe you've heard that youth are the future of the church. 啊，咱大概不是。拢捌听到伊讲，即个青年人、青少年就是教会的将来。This study says that saying saying is false. 啊，这个啊，这个这个研究讲讲这个讲这句话唔对啦。Instead, it says that youth are the church of now. 啊，啊，应该是讲啊，青年就是今仔日的教会啦，唔是将来的教会。If youth were not involved in regular opportunities of service within the church, they often fell away from the church. Ah, 这是教会呐，不，或者青年人无无机会当参与伫教会诶诶，在奉事诶时阵，啊，在青年人就安尼说诶离开教会。The fifth factor the researchers found. Was that for youth who maintain faith into their adult years, is their congregations were supportive, relevant, and engaging. Ah, ta, go way, it's it, 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 This often meant, for example, that the pastor would publicly support you from the pulpit. 安尼讲就是就啊，也也也包括讲牧师伫咧讲道的时阵，安尼公开来安尼支持，啊，即系青少年所咧做嘅代。This often meant that the church government structure would provide adequate resources for the ministry to youth. Ah, ta, ani kong is kong tau kwe ekeng kong po jine lai bin. 
，啊，会当提供啊，教育的资源，通好啊，通来支援青年工作。For those of you who are pastors, this study said that when you preach, you need to also offer examples and illustrations that relate specifically to you. Uh, the churches that did the best job of keeping their youth were those that understood them to be active participants and treated them as regular members. And then the sixth factor that they found was churches who did a really good job of keeping teenagers' faith well and vital into their adult years had excellent youth ministries. Here's what I find most fascinating about this study. Any church, regardless of size, regardless of finances, can do the first five things. Even if your church cannot hire a youth pastor or does not have a youth director, your church can do those first five. Without getting too complicated, the first five accounted for 80% of what it meant to keep a teenager in church. So here's what I'd like us to do. I want to break us into groups again. <laughs> this time you only have five minutes. I want you to discuss with your group how well is your church doing in these first five. And thus, where can we improve? So go ahead and break into your same groups as earlier and ask or tell the other people in your group this are the five areas or the two areas or the one area where we're doing really well in right now. And here's where we can improve. <laughs> like now is to have one representative from each group be prepared to speak. <laughs> And what I would like you to share from your group 
is what are the areas that your group thinks they're doing well in, and therefore, what can they improve in? So we can have those representatives come on up, and then we'll be having one at a time explain that to us. We we had actually difference differences in opinions, like different churches had different. Um, one of the two and four, the three or more adult mentors in the apprenticeship. Um, a lot of people in the first generation found it really hard to really relate to the English generation because they didn't have the same experience growing up being a Christian. And also it's really hard to share. Um, it's also it's hard to find common ground. Maybe language or culture can be, feel like a barrier. So it's hard when you grew up in Taiwan and then you're trying to talk to this young kid who's in the suburbs who speaks English. It's really hard for them to communicate that kind of to really understand. So they're talking to maybe have people within the English ministry, people who've kind of maybe that 1.5 generation who maybe grew up in Taiwan and then came to America but a little earlier, maybe they can relate to them more. Um, and we also talked about a kind of different mentality, how the younger, younger people, they're like counting up and they have this endless mentality, the possibilities are endless, but once you know you're a certain age, um, you start counting down, <laughs> counting down the time, and then your your mentality is kind of not. You're kind of just okay. Let's just focus right now, kind of not thinking as far. So those are a couple of things. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm the first to recognize that sometimes trying to relate to teenagers can be very problematic. I think sometimes we get so caught up on the fact that they dress differently or talk differently or engage in different things that we assume we don't have anything in common. Let me see by show of hands, how many of you remember what it was like to be a teenager? <laughs> that should be most of you. Right? And if you can remember the types of things that you dealt with as a teenager, then you can know what teenagers today are dealing with. Do you remember the first time that your boyfriend or your girlfriend broke your heart? <laughs> then you have something to talk about with the teenager. <laughs> if you remember how difficult it was to sometimes make friends, to feel accepted, then you have something to talk about with the teenager. If you can remember what it was like to fight with your parents, then you can, you can get along with the teenager. So in other words, 
don't assume that they are different than you. They have the same experiences. They're growing up and dealing with the same types of things that you grew up with. Like to have another representative come and share with us what your group talked about. <笑>我們從前國西派所在的 <我們從前國西派所在的>, <笑> 他做到一年<咳> 所以他只有大多人而已<咳> 这样子我们对他们的情绪有负担<音> 另外一個我們這個前線的情緒是一最近的一種發生 no 都不完全的一個好心的一個心理的一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一個一
开始甲教会结论关系，啊开始欢喜来来释放，啊开始去接受教育，啊所以大家是多多无数的，其他无数的所以讲的，就是这个有一个家庭的建立，啊加。啊，当初我在失败的时候，听这个课，所以现在，哈哈哈哈哈哈，很多人还是觉得是刚不像。啊 ，his example, what he went through, is unfortunately very typical in the church. 啊，咱注意啊啊，那这啊，科博士所讲的这吼，啊，真真可惜，就是真侪教会拢受相款的错误。Too many times we assume that if we hire someone to work with you, that will solve that problem. I want you to understand that youth ministers are important, but only as they help these first five things to occur. So one of the things that you need to consider when hiring a youth pastor, are they going to make these first five things happen in your church, or are they simply going to remove you from the life of the congregation? 啊，当咱逐摆要请就伊青年事工牧师的时阵，咱就要先考虑，到底这个青年事工的牧师是毋是啊，要做欢喜做咱直接列出来头部项的代志，啊，是要带这群青年出去做伊爱做的代志，欢喜煞离开啊，咱的教会生活。If everything that a youth pastor is doing with you keeps them away from the other adults in the church. Is doomed for failure. 讲咱诶，青年事工诶，工作者啊，呢啊，带咱诶青年啊离开咱这些大人诶时阵，这教会拢是失败。Okay, I think we have time for one more person to share. They would like to talk about what their group discussed for the rest of us to hear. 啊，起码要个各国语啊。Uh, I, have to, I have to confess that we failed at first the five uh, miserable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and especially the first two, um, I guess we, we completed uh, failure because uh, our first uh, generation, the white generation, uh, I would say they were probably completely lost. And their, their, their most criticism to uh, uh, the reason why they left the church was they, they criticized their their the adults or the parents who are hypocritic or not actually real true Christians in, in their lives and behavior. Mm -hmm. So, but that, that's their opinion and it may not be necessarily true, but that's what they right. believe. Um, so, so we we think the. Um, so that we, we fail the first five, so we throw, them, throw money at, 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 at the problem, as you said, just to hire someone who did the, the work for us. But uh, that apparently doesn't work very well. So um, we, we thought the, actually, the first one is very important, but it needs adult education and instead of the youth education. We have to educate the parents or the, you know, the, the adults rather than educating the, the, the the youth. But unfortunately, when you hire a youth pastor, he doesn't come to educate the adults, he educates the kids. The first point uh, is not going to be done. And the second point, the mentorship, I believe, in the Reformed tradition is completely dropped. So in most of the churches, they don't, most of them, they, they don't even know there's such a thing called spiritual directorship. So I guess most of the churches they shouldn't even you know, talk about that. That's what we felt. Um, and and I, I think the, then the rest of the three points, I, I guess they are more technical and they can be done once you are aware of the, uh, those <coughs> unnecessary things. And so that, I think that's what the, the direction we should move is to educate the adults first. And then, you know, we somehow need to train 
spiritual director, those trained mentors. So because you can't just send someone and think, you know, I'm the, you are the, an elder who would you suppose that he knows how to mentor you, know, but without training of, you know, just <coughs> train, train um, elders to be a listener. It's not an easy, lots of, lots of uh, what the parents or elders fail is when you talk, start talking to a youth and you start saying, so I know this and uh, I'm teaching you to do this and do this and that, but that's not what they want. You have to listen to them. Yeah. And that, that needs training to, to, to listen from your heart and to speak from your heart. That's what we need. Thank you so much. Our brother made a very important point that I think that we need to uh, talk about for just a minute. He stated that often we tend to hire a youth pastor who then works only with youth. That is a model that has been in the church for the last 50 years, but we're discovering it no longer works. In fact, the best youth ministers are those who see their primary role as training and resourcing parents and adults to work with youth. The youth minister still works with teenagers. They still provide programming for teenagers. But they also do the training for parents and adults to help them understand their role in one and two. And please know that in sharing this information with you, it's not to make you feel guilty for what you're not doing. <laughs> Instead, it's to point you to what you should be doing, and thus give you the encouragement to do it. Due to um, some time that we're at, I'm going to skip ahead a couple of slides here, but I want us to get to a few things that I think will be really important for us as we think about doing youth ministry with our teenagers. There are seven factors that I want us to discuss that are important for reaching our teenagers. First, we need to help teenagers act on their natural spiritual interest. There are three primary questions that every teenager is asking. The 
The first question is, who am I? It's their search for identity. The second question is, who is God? And what role does he want in my life? And then the third question is, in light of who I am and who God is, how should I live? We often assume that teenagers are not interested in spiritual things. But the reality is, they're asking all the right questions. And so our job is to help them find the answers. Secondly, we must provide a context where doubts can be expressed. All of us, especially teenagers, will sometimes have doubts about what it is that we believe. Uh,